What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I'm Jess, I got mom here, and you're watching Keto Rewind. Now, this is gonna be a very thought-provoking video. This video is going to be about what the February monthly challenge is. Now, if you're new to my channel, usually every month we have a new theme. Sometimes it's about moving your body, like exercise. Other times it's about food. In other ones, it's about learning how to track macros. We do it all here. So this is probably gonna be the best one we've done yet on my entire channel. And because that's the only one we've done yes, in I've this never, nature. I've never gone this deep before. So, um, but before we get started, if you're new here and if you like to see videos like this featuring weight loss, inspiration, success stories, positivity, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and turn on all of those notifications so you don't miss any videos. Now, and the next thing I want to say really quickly, neither of us are healthcare, prof I guess you're a nurse, but <laughs> we're not healthcare experts, we're not healthcare I'm not professionals. I'm the you're health not, yeah. today, I'm just we mom. We're just speaking on our own weight loss experiences because both of us have lost over 130 pounds. So we're speaking from that experience and that experience will help inspire you to also change your life. So let's dive into today's video. So real quickly, be, I'm gonna give you a little backstory. October 2020, I was one pound away from my goal weight. I was 180 pounds. The next day, that was a Monday, whenever we started a six week renovation project with my husband, um, demoing tile floors, putting wood floors in, painting, and it was a lengthy, lengthy and very hard project. So I had gained some weight during that. Additionally, we had a deadline to get to because my daughter had a slumber party and we also ten had little girls. 10 little girls. <laughs> um, so the house had to be done by then. You can't have that. With, you can't have a construction zone with a slumber party. <laughs> also, Halloween was in the middle of that. My um, Thanksgiving was in the middle of that. My parents came into town. Christmas, Kyle's parents came into town. And then it's New Year's. So, and then the January Clean 30 Challenge started. So to say I was stressed out or having anxiety or... Anything like that is just an understatement. <laughs> so I, I had gained quite a bit because I purposely went off. I didn't have a kitchen because of the renovation project. I purposely was eating out. That got out of control. So once the project was over, I had a reality check and I was now up. I think I had gained 27 pounds or something like that in that six week window. Um, stress eating and eating the standard American diet. So I was already up and then I did some fasting. I tried to write the ship through November and December, but it's the holidays. I didn't focus majorly on losing the weight. So um, this was probably one of our better holidays. Though. Yes, we, we did. Really, we, we did, did try. Really well this <laughs> we just ate too, I just ate too much. So we, then the you kick is. off. I now had um, to plan the Clean 30 Challenge and to plan all the recipes, make the meal plans. Uh, write up all of the recipes, edit the videos, film the videos, literally, literally walk around with a camera constantly so I can get how I make everything. And it was hours of editing, hours of filming, hours of typing, and, and it was like two weeks into the challenge and all I'm getting is people nitpicking every single thing. The haters came out strong. Um, people were wanting me to do everything for them. And mind you, I did this for free. I took time out of my family for the last month to do this. Like, I didn't have to even do that. Like, I could have never, I could show you, I lost 130 pounds and moved on. Yeah. You know, like, I, and I felt so underappreciated, which made me stress eat, um, or eat late while I'm vi uh, editing videos at like 11 o'clock at night, wanting to not be in front of a screen, instead, you know, maybe relaxing with my husband. I'm spending my time doing that. and. So then I'm, I'm snacking while I'm up there and I'm like seeing food 24 seven. You know, somebody who's a food addict, all I could see was making a meal plan, writing up that meal plan, typing up those recipes, looking at that, the food on the screen left and right. So a long story short, I was ridiculously stressed and I felt underappreciated, but I was not gonna give up because so many people do honestly take this seriously. So many people do appreciate this. And I, I, I decided not to give up and to keep pushing forward and just tune out that noise. Unfortunately, I did gain a couple of pounds. I don't know how much. And mind you, ask, quick asterisk, thank you for pointing that out. You are a real peach. Everybody who has made a nasty comment about my weight, 
you're, you're what's wrong with this world. But anyways, most of you have really appreciated this challenge and can understand where I'm coming from. So with that being said, I'm feeling like I'm drowning in this and like I'm just angry and all these emotions, the anxiety, and then I'm, I'm having my own pity party and I'm saying, <clears throat> and I'm saying, you know, like I, I feel bad because the whole reason I started this channel was because I couldn't find somebody to inspire me, somebody who was truly morbidly obese, who chose to change your life, to completely become a new person, throw out old habits, make new habits, and I felt like nobody's here for me, you know, and I'm doing this for everybody else, and then all of a sudden it's like, lifeline, I completely forgot, and sometimes when you get so hung up in your pity party, you don't realize what's right in front of you. So unfortunately, I, it dawned on me and mom's here to give me a lifeline and she the, the whole challenge for this month of February is fixing this issue. And she's drawing back from what changed, was a game changer, I guess, for her. And this month's challenge is the Keto Rewind Toolbox. And my mom is gonna explain what the heck is the toolbox and why would we even want this? And this video is just gonna be an overview. We will talk about the details of it the next video, just to keep this video short and so we don't lose everybody who's falling asleep at this point. So. We will give but, you a homework assignment. Yes, for the whole month of February, <laughs> you each week we will address something in this toolbox. And you'll and, know at the end of one video what you're going to be expected of for the next. And this is going to be that hand that comes out to you and reaches a hand for you. Because you'll remember the hand that comes and helps you, you will always remember that one at that time in your life. So this is going to be that hand that helps pull you out of it and, and it's gonna be written by you, the best part. So anyways, I'm gonna let mom talk about the toolbox and why that was such a significant change, game changer for her in her weight loss story. And then a quick little note, for those of you who have not watched my video, I'm not sure which corner the cards is in, I did a video about a year ago with mom about our different weight loss stories. Mom had a gastric lap band in 2008 and lost over 139 pounds or something. Okay. And I, at that time, I think I was down 100. But I lost it with um, a ketogenic lifestyle. But the point of the video was to show the goal line was all that really mattered. It didn't matter how you got there, just that you lose the weight and you change your life. One method is not better than the other. You have to do what works for you. And unfortunately, mom was out of time. Totally Surgery out of time. was the best option for her. I was facing death. And with all the medications she was on, and then I will put a before photo right here. No! <laughs> you, you said you wouldn't do that! Yes, you said, you said you I could! No, we could do the group one! <laughs> well, this, is a, this just speaks volume of where mom, how far mom has come. So anyways, the reins are for you. All right. <laughs> okay, as Jess said, um, we often focus and on the on, negative, on the negative. <laughs> we bank the negative and we spend the positive. That's pretty much what we do. And this is like, this was the perfect challenge. And I'm not, it's like sure. it happened for a reason yeah. to bring this together right. because we've never really collaborated no. other than ex no. sharing our recipes stories. and stories and things like that. But, but the but emotional stuff we've never really got deep on. Right. And, and the reason that that I think finally surfaced is because even in my own journey, yes, I had to do, do lots of um, counseling. The program that I was in was absolutely fabulous. And um, I had some psychiatric um, evaluations that had to be done. These were things that you had to commit to and were part of the entire inclusive package. And um, so obviously before pre-surgery, there were loops and I mean hoops that I had to jump through. Then we went, I went through the surgery and then there's the other things that you have, you've already committed and paid for. So um, one of those things that we did post uh, journey is the uh we had to go we were all enrolled in a bariatric um everybody had had lap band uh support group that meant on a monthly basis and there were other programs like we, i had to go once a month for nutrition and you know they were really it was an, an excellent program so anyway the one that we focused on in the support group is taught us how to go okay so now what 
Basically, that was the answer. <laughs> so now what? Yeah, you now have the phone flat on your face. <laughs> yeah. We're getting up, but now what? So now what? <laughs> we're in already in a, you know, and by this time, we've already, most of the people in the class had already lost maybe anywhere from 30 to 50 pounds. So, you know, and if there is an apprehension to like, so now what? When you reach your final weight. I, I think I had anxiety that might have yeah. been triggered. I was one pound away, like, like you're at, you're at the doorway. You're at <laughs> opening what? the door, and you've do got to go like, back that way, or do I want to jump off? Yeah, the cliff? do you want to and stay like, with what you already know, <laughs> or are you gonna plunge? And I think see that might have been yeah. that might have been a little bit of my stress eating. In addition, to right? The so yeah, zone. I don't want to go through that door yet. So I'm not gonna <laughs> do. I'm not gonna lose that last pound. I'm holding onto it forever because I'm not ready to make that. Or if I get there, change. I'll get criticized or something, and it won't right. be good enough. Again, or it wasn't the right way, or we, it's just yeah. the head. We bank the negative. That's human nature, uh, and that uh, just as a little asterisk, that's your inner critic. And if you look that up and do any of your own research, when we bank the negative and do things like that and focus on the negative, um, that's your inner critic. It's that self-talk. It's the words you hear. It's how they're you talk the loudest, to yourself, and they are very. <laughs> But you know what? The inner critic doesn't always have to be negative because the inner critic also made you stop and not and look both ways before you cross the street. So you have like, to. Oh, be, you're about to get hit by a bus. Right. You should look left. Right. You know? That's Which a good again, thing. You banked your negative, <laughs> but that negative actually saved your life. So your inner critic isn't necessarily the bad, evil twin sister that's on everybody. You know, the good, the good angel and the bad angel. That inner critic can save your life too. <clears throat> so. With that being said, one of the tools they gave us right off the bat was what they called a toolbox. And in a couple of people on the Facebook page, we've had engaged in some conversation about that. And basically, February, February is the month of love. So we thought this was absolutely uh, the frosting on the cake, if you would, coming off the holidays, coming off the regrets. Plus, yes, you, now you've learned how to eat. You've watched my eating for mm -hmm. the past 30 days. You, know, you saw the results on the scale. Now it's the part yeah. where, okay, so the weight came off. The weight's going to slow down as you go on with your journey. It's sure. not going to be record oh, sure. numbers every month, you oh, know. Yeah. So the emotional side of, uh-oh, now, uh, now you what, now what yeah. <laughs> is what this is for. So when you reach that moment, which we all will hit that moment at a different time. Mm -hmm. And you're going to, this is being February is the month of love, okay. I thought this was the most perfect thing to bring in. Love live in the full bloom. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm dabble in herbs and stuff, so I love this kind of box. Mine's you're simple, <laughs> and no, I can tell I'm a mom because I've got a, like a pencil box or something <laughs> is mine, but you make your own. This right. one was like a dollar at the grocery store. I didn't even have to go anywhere. But not this, this, this is not somewhere. my original one. My original one is up at the lake, it's, and um, it's basically not much more than a fancy envelope. <laughs> you know, the eight and a half by 11 envelopes, which, the guys in the class, that's what their toolbox, you know, you'd see the guy come in with his little very, um, <clears throat> very composed little envelope, but he had all of his stuff in that too. So you, yeah, it's not just women, men, this is so, for men too. Right. So you got to find a toolbox. Right. This is, is step one. You need right. a box or an envelope. Right. <laughs> you need your toolbox. And what's a toolbox for? I always said... I, my husband and I always said, you know what, we have, the, we have these two kids now, what do we do with them? Okay, we give them the tools to build their own house. So that's basically, it's not a whole lot different than what we're doing here. I'm giving, we it's are giving the tools you the tools. from when you're drowning. Like I was right. drowning, to I should have I should have had my box and I should have referred mm -hmm. to it and it would have maybe given me the, a little bit more wind in my sail at the time where I needed it. Yeah. You know, or if I couldn't, it was stressful. I'd sit down talking with mom at that time. I don't know, it wasn't really in the cards, but maybe mm -hmm. I could have, I could have opened my box. So. Right, because that box is your February, again, month of love. That box loves you. That box that you're creating. is personal to you. Is personal. It is going to go, it's going to reach out to you when you need love or support. This is what you're going to do because if you mess up and you stop getting on yourself, you need to turn yourself around. And it, that's a hard thing to do for some people because it's, of yeah. the emotional baggage that got you to this point in the first place. So it's why the yo-yos sometimes you, you lose 15 pounds, but then you gain back 30. You know, right. that, that right. concept. And again, we're banking that failure. We didn't 
bank, geez, I lost, you know, 30 pounds. We bank the failure. That's what we do. And we're trying to get the, we're trying to get that bank book um, with more happy pages, more positive pages. Oh yes, it's not gonna be all <laughs> unicorns and rainbows. You know? Right, it's, right. It's not. <laughs> and again, like I said before. As is life though. The inner critic can save your life too. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just part of that whole emotional thing that we go through, particularly if you have an addiction like sugar. Mm -hmm. So, first things first. Um, the Get yourself a toolbox. A toolbox, yes. We'll go into what's in it and all that in the next video to keep this one uh, short. Actually, and we'll just quickly, quickly go quick, through. Uh, yeah. Quickly go through and then yeah. we'll go into detail in part two. And the one thing you want to keep in mind when you're choosing or making your toolbox, depending on how crafty you are, um, and depending on your own thing, your own decorating flair or none. <laughs> I'm very simple. I'm a real basic girl versus the And girl I'm not that. And the girl versus the girl Glitter girl is my Blitzer. world. <laughs> Glitter is but my world. And that would not that wouldn't right. even look like me, right. you know, right. if I had that one. So But to bear in mind, where when you have the, the toolbox, this is your homework. Not only are you going to get and procure your toolbox, but you don't keep your toolbox on the coffee table in the living room for anybody to go through it. It's just for This you. is you. Okay, so if you have a, um, you know, you tuck it in a closet, you tuck it into a drawer, you tuck it under your bed, this is just for you. And no one should be in your toolbox unless you have given specific information or permission to do so. This is you. This is an extension to you. You're reaching out for help and you're basically helping yourself when you pull something out of that box, mm -hmm. all right? So your job this week would be to procure a toolbox that resonates with you and find a place to keep mm -hmm. it that is only for you. And also while you're at it, get a thing of index cards because mm -hmm. you're gonna wanna write some stuff on this. Um, and if you're crafty, get glitter and stickers and <laughs> sparkles and, with and <laughs> sparkly scented glitter and, markers. And or colored just markers, Sharpie. whatever you wanna do, whatever resonates for you. I guess <laughs> if it's a guy, you might get electric tape, yeah, hey. duct tape, <laughs> whatever. You know? So whatever works for you, um, you want, because you're gonna be creating things because we have to stimulate all the senses when we're in trouble. And so if it, if, if like something, if I pulled out something with duct tape on me, I'd be like, ooh. But if I pulled out something that was glittery or had flowers on it or smelled good, I'd be like, oh. So again, think of that. You're going to be creating and making a few things over the next month. And um, simple, they're all real simple, but um, they have the things that you're going to be doing are resonating with you. So get some crafty things together and get your toolbox. And I would say get your index cards because that's gonna take care of the first week. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so and that will be, that's it for today's video. We're, we're gonna go and uh, part two will be coming up right after this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like, comment below if you're in and we'll see you at part two. Bye. I'm Jess. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Mom. <laughs> and you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.